Hello everyone, I'm Iron Phoenix and welcome to Astroneer. Now, I'm going to load a game. This is a pre-alpha version of Astroneer. Uh, it's available on Steam Early Access and I think it, this is a great example of what games on Early Access could be. Because this is a pre-alpha game and there's already an awful lot of content. Now, there are some fairly annoying bugs in the game. Uh, but a lot of that that is due to frame rate and crash related things. I'm not completely certain, but I did just have um, a hard lock crash that might have been something to do with what I was doing here. I don't know. Um, I, I can really say for certain. But on the other hand, that's kind of to be expected. It's it's pre-alpha. It's not quite ready yet for everyone. So what is Astroneer? Well it's kind of like, well if you think about what um, No Man's Sky wants to be, you know, this um, this experience of going down onto a planet and building, a, well actually the game is pretty much about repairing your ship and then fueling everything forever. This is not quite like that, it's a, it's a base builder with a very stylized look. I quite like this um, very sort of minimalist feel. But what I really like about the game is the that there are is no real UI. There's a a thing here. So um back on my jetpack. Um so you can open your backpack and you've kind of got these slots here and you've got a crafting bench built into it essentially. And as you go mining, these slots fill up. So let's just grab some oxygen, actually, first of all. Just refill my oxygen. Right, now my oxygen's refilled. So let's go and grab some of this. So this is resin. Um, if I hit... You kind of got this big gun thing, and then you use that to uh, get all the resin up. And as you mine down, you do actually find a little bit more resin down there and you will eventually run out of power and need to go back. Now you can have tethers that will allow you to get power and oxygen from your base when you're a fair distance away. Now this tether isn't actually hooked up to the base and I need to redo that. Again I think there's a small bug in that. But over there there seems to be almost like a debris trail and we might be able to get some research stuff on that. So this is pretty much your bog standard base. I've got um, uh, a compact. Uh, I've got um, a printer. Uh, I've got a smelter, and I've got a research bench. This is pretty much all you can build. First of all, when you first set out, and as you explore, you get little research things that you can drag back to your base, put on there, and get more useful stuff out of it. Right, I need to go over here. Because over here is some compound and I need some compound to make some tethers. But yes, going back to what I, I like about this game is that the information is just on display for you. So I can see what's in my backpack, not by opening my backpack but just by looking at it. I can also see how much energy I have and how much oxygen I have left just by looking at my backpack. There's no um, additional UI. Uh, and the same is with, with the buildings as well. You can very easily see how much power and what you actually need to do anything. So there's no real UI, it's just it's there on the screen. You don't need to click on anything and open anything. It's just you know made available for you. Right, so where is that debris trail? Sort of over that way a bit. So, if we go into Q, and I go over to my tethers and make some tethers. Because I'm going to need some well, tethers, obviously. Hit T, and you can sort of uh, link into. Uh, yeah, I want to link into there. So. Yeah, big blue line basically says, yes, this is connected. And then you can build yourself a tether system. Um, sort of 
down here. I think. While you're connected to the tether, you are getting power and oxygen from your base. You can also make little um, satellite bases. Um, right. So yeah, we've got a debris trail here, but I'm thinking we might be able to find some, some research things. Let me just do that. There's some dangers. Not a huge amount, it's more nature. Nature is a danger. Um, let's uncover that. I like I like these mechanics. They're they're very um they're very simple mechanics. It's you know, you've got this thing that you need to first uncover uh, before you can drag it out and then you can just pick it up and move it. I like that. I like it just being... I like simple mechanics that are strong. Um, strong mechanics. Well fleshed out mechanics. And then you can just basically stick that onto your on top of your research thing and then hit the research button. And it will research it. And you can find these things all over the world. You know, in caves you can find interesting little bits and pieces. And then it finds right. So we've unlocked filters. No, 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 no. Oh damn it! Didn't really want to do. Oh well, that's actually connected to that tether up. That's fine. Um, I wanted to go into here. Can I just not? Right. Oh, filters. There we go. Let's make some of these. I don't know what they do, but we'll find out. I've no idea what that is. <laughs> I'll have to uh, read up on a wiki, probably. So, yeah. Um, that's ultimately the game. Now, there are some things you can do later on, like build vehicles. So you can build yourself a car. You can modify it a little bit, from what I've seen, anyway. So I've seen one where there's... Um, it's like um, a truck with a very large drill on it. Or you can have a storage bay or something like that. And there are also these pods that have been dropped at some point. Ooh, hello. That's something there. Let's uncover that. I can't seem to move it. But I can click on it, so that's a little bit odd. There's more stuff over here. Getting very windy out here. So there are windstorms um, as a as a danger. And it starts off with just a bit of wind. And then ends up, you know, having large boulders basically hold at you. Which is apparently a very, very good way to die um, in this game. Right, so we'll get this back. The research thing appears to be almost like a chance thing. You kind of see it going through um, options uh, before it settles. Which, again, I don't really mind that sort of thing. Um, it's it's an interesting way to kind of give you different options for things each time. Right, that's got no power so I can't actually research anything on that at the moment one thing I could do is build one of those storage possibly let me see yeah storage I would need some compound so I need I would need another compound just because I'm getting quite a lot of random stuff I quite like to put it somewhere uh, so there's compound, yeah, there's compound down here, wasn't there? So, just wander down there. But if you, so yeah, there are some bugs. Um, so you know, just sort of finalise this little video. There are some bugs. There were some frame rate problems. There was that hard crash, which I don't know if it was me, what I was doing, 
a sort of a combination of what I was doing and what the game was doing. I don't know. Uh, but um, I haven't had it again, so I don't know. I don't know if it was an alt tab thing or what. But anyway, uh, yeah, and, and then yeah, I've had some frame rate drops as well with with it uh, here and there, which is to be expected considering that the game is classified as a pre-alpha. Um, what I like about the game, uh, I quite like this idea of I want to see what what how much oxygen I have. Oh, I can do that very easily. I can see the power. I can see what's in my backpack very very quickly. Um, I can um, put one of these storage things down. Yeah. Yeah. So it's almost like it's got eight slots. So let's stick some. So I can then store my various junk on there. The backpack gets in the way a bit. But yeah, now my now my backpack is empty, and the stuff is in a, a storage thing. I like that. You know, it's it's a nice little system. Now the sun is coming up again, and I might be able to get another bit of research. Yeah, I should be able to do that. In a moment, possibly. Yeah. So you need full power, and then it will be able to do a research thing. It'll give me something new. What's it going to give me? A fuel condenser. Ooh. I wonder what that does. So yeah, um, yeah. If you like this sort of thing, um, well, if you want to see me play more of this, you know, let me know. Um, yeah, it's not something that you can build through there. I wonder if it's something that you can build. It was a fuel condenser. Oh, I wonder if it is. Let's just. Uh, I need some more resin. Yeah, I'm. I'm delaying wrapping up this video because I want to find out what this thing is, and I suspect it's a um, a vehicle thing. Let's find out. that way so that I can just drag that out and um, I need more resin um, it's like um, a more focused version of No Man's Sky you know, there's there's immediate gameplay there, whereas a lot of No Man's Sky was um, oh oh okay, so it's um it's a module thing. That's yeah okay. And that's uh, yeah. So for the vehicle, con sorry for the fuel condenser, I will need copper. Which means looking for caves and going mining in caves, which I'm not really quite there yet. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll end this video here. There's some interesting things over there I want to explore. Some interesting green crystals over there. As well, but yeah, um, well, let's find out what these green crystals are. This video is going on and on and on. Um, if this is like um, it's it's something Let's go back to the tether that will that will refuel my power. I want to know what these green things are. I assume it's like some kind of a um, a carbon. Oh yeah, organic. Okay, that's like um, yeah, that's 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 something for something else that I don't know quite quite what to do with yet. But there is some compound over here that I want, and I want to check out these uh, crystals here. 
yeah, there's a fair amount to do in the game. Uh, so yeah, with that, I will say thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.